what is going on guys uh welcome back to the channel today we're going to try to do a simple little mod well i guess i don't know if you want to call it a mod or not but uh we're going to try to get my cold air intake part fixed i lost the part the little heat shield thing that goes around this part back when i had my suburban and i was going through stuff with that and i had tossed this whole intake part into a different vehicle for the time being but I finally was able to get it on this one. The bad thing is I can't find a heat shield that goes on this one. And instead of actually paying out the money for like a whole new kit. Because I can't just find the heat shield by itself. Like I cannot. No matter how hard I try I have not found anything. If anyone does know anywhere to get it. Put a link in the uh, comment below. And let me know if y'all can find anything like that. But I'm going to try to just do a simple little uh, hack with this. And get some sheet metal. Bend it up. And then try to measure out the uh circumference of this but uh yeah we're gonna see uh go ahead and show you guys what i'm working with today like i said uh i don't know how well this is gonna work but i'm gonna try so i have this sheet metal right here i'm going to uh try to take something and bend it up so where i can tap this part into the uh bottom part of the uh, battery terminal part that second battery terminal place over there and then I'm going to uh, try to bend this piece up at like an L-shaped angle in a way. And then cut into it the uh, shape of my cold air intake. That's the reason why I have the uh, tape measure. And I got to go get a sharpie to where I can like go measure out the part over there. And come over here and measure that out to see if I can use the cutter thing for it. But uh, yeah we're gonna see how this goes so with that being said let's go ahead and try to see if we can get this accomplished all right guys i can't really exactly show you all because i don't have all the proper equipment right now to do all this stuff to actually go like step by step to show you how i'm gonna do this but i'm gonna take this part off unscrew this part this little nut that's right here i'm gonna screw unscrew this take this part off i'm gonna measure the circumference of this actual pipe right here and then we'll probably also measure down here too and see and then i'm going to take those measurements to the piece of metal and uh write down that and then uh yeah go from there on all this stuff so yeah that's just where i'm at right now all right so as y'all can tell that was pretty easy just about undoing the little nut thing there and then just pushing in underneath the little uh, black part till i can get to this part so now, like I said, I'm going to take and uh, have a good me tape measure out from this side to this side. And I'm going to measure out in inches what it is on how wide this part is. And I'm going to take that over to that uh, piece of metal. And we're going to see if we can get this as accurate as possible. So I can, I'm going to, in theory, what I'm trying to do is take the measurement of this thing right here. And I'm going to try to cut out a big U shape around this thing to where I could fit that piece of metal in and hold this part up at a better angle. All right guys, I don't know how well y'all can see this, but I done like a little five and eight inch by five and eight inch thing uh, on here just to see how well this is gonna work. Really, I needed to do this more like a circular motion, but we're gonna see how well this turns out. This should hopefully cover uh, the width of the part I'm trying to do, so uh, yeah. If this doesn't work, then I might just go on eBay or someplace and try to find one of these heat shields for like a decent price. Or I might just try to find some knockoff version of the air intake kit I have just try to get the heat shield from that. But I don't know. Like I said, we're going to try this first and see how this goes. If this doesn't work, then we'll resort to the other thing. And I might either way, but I'm at least going to give this a try. Well, guys, here's all the scrap metal. I got done using with all this stuff. I'm gonna come over here and show you guys what I have. I'm gonna use it right now for the time being. I think I'm probably I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and buy the little show thing. But uh, I got this thing that goes around right here on both sides, and uh, it goes down to the actual bottom part down here. And I'm gonna, like I said, self tap some screws through this plate or through the metal and into that plate where it doesn't go nowhere. And I'm hoping that this will at least solve the problem of it being up so low or being down so low. I have it raised up like an inch or two now. I really don't think it's really affecting much, but I'd rather really be safe than sorry. And like I said, 
But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the self-tapping screws in here and then uh, we're gonna see what it looks like and hopefully this is a temp fix for right now until I can actually get the actual heat shield, so. And just like that, guys, everything's back together. Like I said, it's just a little temporary fix just to hold it in for right now until I can actually buy the actual heat shield for it. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this little simple video, or if y'all thought this video was stupid, either way, hit like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to go check out the latest video I posted up. And uh, with that being said, I'm out, y'all. Y'all are the best. Bye.